And for this episode, we are going to talk about five most commonly used and highly regarded invitational cards. Designing a card is really hard, and back then, Wizards came up with why not let our players design their own cards. There are some cards that players design themselves turned out to be really good, and some of them are just legendary. And that is what we are going to talk about. For number 5, Ranger of Eos. A useful card to say the least. It's been featured in quite a few decks, especially in modern. It was designed by Antoine Ruel when he won the Magic Invitationals in 2006. The original design of the card is supposed to be a 0-2 creature for 3 mana. However, Wizards decided that it's a little too powerful, at least during that time, that they have to nerf the design. So, it turned out to be a white creature that costs 4 mana. A few years after that, Wizards finally gave in and redesigned Ranger of Eos, a promotion for the Ranger. It is now Ranger, Captain of Eos, which is almost close to what he envisioned back in the days. It is now 3 mana to cast, however, it's still white, with an additional ability of stopping your opponent from doing anything while you're doing your thing, which is really impressive. And that's a number 5. And for number 4, Solemn Simulacrum. This card was designed by Jens Thorin after he won the Magic Invitationals in 2002. What made this card popular is because of its design. You see, originally, it's supposed to be a blue-green 4-mana creature, Forest Folk. But Wizards is about to release Mirrodin. Why not turn it into an artifact, colorless creature instead? And because of that decision, Solemn Simulacrum is born. And for number 3, the Meddling Mage. None other than Chris Picula. Now what made this feat more impressive was because he beat John Fink to become the Meddling Mage. Now, the original design is supposed to be a 3 mana blue creature that involves sacking your creature to counter a creature, something like that. Chris himself said that his design was so bad, he knows exactly what he wanted, he just doesn't know how to put it in a card. So he's banking on wizards. And you know what happened? Wizards nailed him. They got exactly how Chris wanted this card to be. And because of that, this card was featured in a lot of decks. Nowadays, you'll know this card from the humans deck. And the rest is history. And for a number two, Snapcaster Mage. Well, we all know how good this card is. We pretty much see this in every blue control deck you can possibly think of. It is designed by Thiago Chan. It was in 2007 when he won the Magic Invitationals. Did you know that the original card is not supposed to be Snapcaster Mage? It's Supposed to be a land that produces colorless mana, you can pay for colorless or any other mana to produce blue. But what makes it interesting is you can discard this land to counter target spell. When wizards thought of it, heard of it, they tried to, okay, let's probably do something about it and try to turn it into a card. But they just can't. It is a very powerful card. You see, a land that can counter a spell that can't be countered is really ridiculously powerful. So I guess they're right for asking Tiago Chan to probably submit another one. And that is Snapcaster Mage. And for our number one, Bob, also known as Dark Confident. It is designed by Bob Marr. It was in 2004 when he won the Magic Invitationals where he eventually designed Dark Confident. 
We all know what ended up with and we all are happy about it. Especially all gen players. We are very happy with how Dark Confident turned out to be. It is the one and only most powerful of all magic invitational cards. The most used of all magic invitational cards. And up to this day, it still holds value to everyone. My research didn't give me a lot about this card, aside from it has something to do with poison counters instead. Oh, how good the flavor text is in this card. It embodies both the creator, the card, and who's using it. You all know what the flavor text is. And to end all of that, that's our top five. See you again in the next episode. Ciao.